Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to test our over-the-counter medications for cyanide contamination using the cyanide test. So today we have cold medicine, mouthwash, and cough syrup, and simulated sleep aid. And one or more of these are contaminated with cyanide, potassium cyanide to be precise, the exact same formulation of cyanide used in the Tylenol murders back in the 1980s. So our first step of our test is to dispense about four milliliters of each of our simulated medicines into the beakers, which we have already done. At this point, James is going to add one drop of sodium hydroxide to each beaker. So if you would do that, James. So one, one, one. Oh, that's too many. Just remember just one. One, good. Thank you, James. All right, now Bridget is going to dispense five drops of 10% ferrous sulfate into each of the beakers. So go ahead, Bridget. One, two, three. All right, get some more. There we go. Some more. And last but not least. So you want to swirl these around a bit just to mix. You notice we've started to see a color change already with two of our medications. All right, James is going to do the final step, which is adding five drops of hydrochloric acid to each. <coughs> Quiet, Ranger. All right. Just want to give each of these a nice little swirl around, like so. And what do we see? So we see our cold medicine started out as a bright green, and it's still bright green. All right, we see our mouthwash, which has started out as yellow, has turned dark red. Our cough syrup, which has started out light red, has also turned dark red. And our sleep aid, which has started out blue, also stays pretty much blue. blue. Well, kind of greenish blue. Kind of greenish blue, you're right, Bridget. So, what does that tell us? Well, remember, if you remember from our earlier experiments, a dark cherry red color is indicative of a positive cyanide test. So, my children, which of these medicines is contaminated with cyanide? These two. Um, excellent. So, our mouthwash and our cough syrup are both contaminated with cyanide. So, this concludes our second experiment. We're going to be moving on to our third observational experiment next.